Hello, it's Gina again here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania. Just um, updating, updating my videos on these two books I made. Um, I was making a few more at the time, but these two have been finished now, and I'm so pleased with them. Really, really pleased. So they're the mud prints, and you'll see other videos, previous ones, as I was making the books. Um, I work intuitively, so often problem solving is along the way, and I do hit problems. I'm not very precise with um, a lot of things that I do, particularly measurements. Um, I eyeball a lot, which means a lot of redoing. Um, even when I measure, it's I just don't get it exact. So I'm really, really pleased with how these these two books turned out. Um, first one is my mud prints in an A3 size and uh, these were done of a mud that had come in from the creek flooding onto my uh, studio floor. So previous videos will bring you up to date with um, the whole storyline. Uh, this one was printed on plastic and a lot of it transfers onto the white backing sheet. Takes about three months for it to dry. Um, so on plastic, I, I was trying to retain the wet look of the mud. So here we've got another one um, and also printed onto drafting paper, drafting film. So that becomes more of an actual photograph, but it's on drafting film. Um, there's a little bit of words here, with no space in between, the lines cannot become a ladder. And again on drafting film, without a white sheet behind it, and it shows through a bit of the plastic print below. So please, th this is Japanese bound. bound. Um, here you've got a turbo chooks footprints that followed me in uh, once I started photographing. Again, the wet look of the, pe of the print. Drafting film. This is actually on um, Hana Mule paper of an actual photograph of mud print on plastic. So the actual photograph of mud print on plastic um, doesn't print as a, as a photograph, but uh, moves along on the plastic and creates this wet feeling that I was after. Um, and on it goes. So <laughs> this one is actually my cat paw prints in the mud. Uh, this beautiful uh, strip of light that you see every now and again on a print, well that's the skylight, it's reflecting on the wet mud. Um, and on it goes. All through the book is this similar similar considerations of what to print on and the story in the back about the flooding of the studio and um, <coughs> let me see uh, so this series came about by chance the mother of intuition when my new studio flooded with mud from the nearby creek in the aftermath I spent months creating printing trials, books and videos telling the story of the creek. This is one of those books, 22 pages of prints on plastic, drafting film and rag paper. A Japanese style binding with handmade paper, covers sprinkled with rose petals, a nod to the regeneration that follows such an event. A mem momentary glimpse into a way to be still and briefly stop time. A history as flow of time, captured on paper, imbued now with myth, poetry and personal memories. A real gift from the creek and a flooding. So that's on the inside cover and the last print itself is with my shoes all full of mud. Where in front of a pattern, these patterns in the mud were created by worms. And there you got um, the reflection again from the skylights above. And the covers, let's see what I can show you. So the frontispiece, I've titled the book I Followed a Worm for a Day. More worm patterning happening here. 
uh, the cover folds over like that with the grass and rose petals as I said a nod to the regrowth that would happen after the flood and I'll show you um, the bind actual binding is a Japanese style binding and the cover stays attached with the back of it all the rose petals. I've put a coating of gesso over to knock the rose petals back a little bit so that the, the front shines. So pleased how that turned out. Uh, the, the format of attaching took a bit of trial and error. I did do a couple of samples and they worked well in my head um, but I did have to problem solve a couple of things along here. Um, and it turned out really well. I'm very pleased. The inside cover uh, is uh, Arsh's sateen that's been soaked in coffee to bring up the same colour as, or the idea of the mud anyway. So that's that one. And then the little one, it's the one I first started with, is a concertina. Um, and I created a box for it. Um, so the box took a lot of working out to get there, but I did get there, I'm so pleased. And I've um, created a, a gentle lock with magnets there. You open it, and the book itself, which you will see in, in other um, videos, I have talked about this one. So these are the actual prints, as opposed to the A3 book, which I wanted to get the feeling of the wet look. These are actual photographic prints of the mud patterns into a, a concertina. Accordion style. There's those beautiful reflections on the mud floor from the skylights. Close-ups of mud patterns. Kitty cat paw prints. <laughs> Very nice. I'm really, really pleased. And the back on the back pages, I just did line work representing the worm. And you can see the accordion is um, connected by linen tape at each. Oh, where it's required. So, thanks again for watching. Really, really pleased how these two turned out. Uh, the inside of the box has also got all the uh, papers. It's nicely covered with mud patterns and worm worm workings. And it slips in there. Very pleased. Okay, thanks for watching.